It is um, November, I think it's 9, 2023, and um, I was, since the, the war have started um, with uh, Israel, this uh, with Gaza, I have not could uh, sleep uh, a whole night before I could do that and uh, it's going on a war in between Ukraine and Russia but that doesn't affect me at all I can sleep there but uh, it's like it's bother my soul in that way they do in Gaza and Israel and and I, I am not uh, the one that uh, defend defend um, the Jewish way to do these things and uh, I, and it doesn't matter that uh, I have ancestors in uh, that have been Jewish and uh, maybe have been Orthodox Jewish and all of this uh, have go uh, what is going on in Israel uh, in the past and uh, it uh, when they coming through. Is it uh, because uh, they know that they have done wrong things and want me to to do better in my life? But the the hard thing is that um, no one accept a woman to be a prophet. So. I don't know how they were thinking when they sent me back to earth. I was in the in the throne room with God and but I wanted to go back to make the world better than we saw it from the throne room. So God let me come back to earth and um, and he made me be a woman before I have been this is my seventh time on earth and before uh, before I have been a man the whole time but this last time am I a woman of some reason and uh, why I know that this is my seven life on earth is because uh, uh, in um, hypnosis uh, when I was going up to heaven uh, there was there was some higher priest and they it was six higher priest that met me in heaven. Um, I have told you that I, I walk in and first I saw uh, like Jesus in the garden and on the right side of him was it a big white cloud. And uh, after a while I saw that there was six higher priests that stood inside the cloud and uh, that's why I know because those six higher priests have I understood have been with me in my other life so w one each of them have been in one of my life and uh, and now I have one, the seven 
highest priest do I have in this life? He come, come down and show himself for me when I was on my way to go go out and make a suicide. And he he stood in my room suddenly. And then he talked about my life so far. And uh, and after him was it God that come and talked to me about my future, the life I have had now after year 2000. And so I, uh, so I, I know that I have lived a seven life because I have the seventh highest priest now and um, and can we do something I wake up uh, five o'clock this night I had been up some few times in the in the night but the last uh, sleeping did I go to bed at five o'clock? I know it was a, around five o'clock in the morning, and and I knew that uh, soon uh, my neighbors upstairs will wake up and uh, running in the floor and uh, in my ceiling and wake me up. So every time. In the, uh, about that time, I put on me uh, plugs that uh, in my ears I I have things in in my ear to stop the sound, so I can sleep. Uh, so I took it on me to stop the sound from my neighbors, and uh, but. Uh, it was not outside uh, my ears that uh, the, I got. Um, someone was telling me in Arabic two words, and I don't know what it means. And uh, of course, I I can't remember what. Uh, what he was saying, but he said two words to me, and uh, before before he come and say something, I'd had a vision that I heard, and I was going sad because they say from heaven it will be a, a third. War, world war. It will be the third world war, they say. And I am not scared about it, but sad that it need to be in that way. And um, and you that uh, follow me, I have uh, teach you and the. The afterlife have taught you how to handle this situation we will be in. Because uh, I have wondering when I have watched uh, from Gaza, Gaza, I only it become more or less and less to that I watch uh, the news from uh, from Gaza because it doesn't happen uh, that uh, the Arabic those in that live in Gaza defend themselves uh, they let the uh, Israel going in into Gaza and kill and destroy and I wondering 
Now it's a, a spirit start to come. We will see if this spirit will give us the answer we I am waiting for to tell you what they were saying with these Arabic words and what they see from where they are. And um, but I am wondering why doesn't uh, those uh, Hamas maybe not Hamas uh, will do anything because they are going down in those tunnels and hide and think they that they they can be okay. Or else they have uh, dig uh, some tunnels that going out from Gaza to Egypt, and they can escape. So that's why they don't do anything against that Israel, and um, and they are saying that that the Hamas have tunnel under the biggest hospital in, in Gaza. Uh, but I I am thinking when I watch uh, this about uh, Gaza that they are running there, Hamas, in the hospital. They don't need to hide because uh, Israel doesn't know every one of the Hamas. They know the leaders, but they don't know those other that is like running around the, uh, uh, in the hospital as spy. But now uh, when they know uh, that Israel is going to destroy the hospital. They will disappear in the tunnel and not or running out from the hospital. They are not going to be in inside the hospital. That is innocent people that will be killed. And I don't understand how cruel Israel can be that they don't care that it is innocent people. There, I don't say that it's women that in innocence, but uh, those children, they be killed. And that is far away from Oh, it's coming, coming harder now. <coughs> it's very close. Now the spirit to talk. But I, I don't don't understand how cruel they can, can be. In their anger about Hamas. Because there, there is innocent people that be killed. And uh, Hamas, most of them can run away, escape the, this, um, and get help. And the uh, Israel military, they uh, shoot at the uh, ambulance. Because they are saying that Hamas uh, leaders are in the, those ambulance, and um, it's hard to know because uh, we are only human, uh, so it's hard to uh, us to know if it's a lie or if it's true that they. Uh, destroy ambulances 
because Hamas leaders is in the ambulance. And then they destroy the hospital because they think there is a tunnel under the hospital to uh, to destroy. So everyone is going there. And uh, but uh, my biggest question is, why uh, doesn't those Arabic, uh, those that maybe is not inside Hamas, but those people that see their the whole family be destroyed, the whole family be killed, uh, everything. Everything is taken away from them. And they don't do anything. And that is my question. That's my biggest question. And uh, and uh, I, I know God. And uh, not uh, 100%, but very much. And uh, God doesn't kill uh, so it's people that kill because they they can't stop and uh, asking God what is in his will. And I know God will, should never tell people to kill. So it's something they run, they run away from God and and make their own decision what to do. And I think it's um, uh, this night because I I got the message this morning. I think they have had a, a discussion. They have had a, a big discussion. Those Muslim countries, and many of them is very, very wealthy countries. So they have the weapon. They have the people, and uh, and it have been a discussion this night, and uh, they say we go to war against. Israel, and uh, now the uh, this with Ukraine and Russia, it seems like they it was a, a small war, and it was not that target war. God was was seeing, and. Uh, Seeing as the future things, because it's uh, I have told, or uh, those in afterlife have told us that that is people that make the decision of what will happen to Earth, and now it seems like. Like people here on earth have to make a decision. And that is what God and afterlife have waiting for to see. What uh, what path, what way we are going to here on earth. We are also in a sense. Because... It's the political and military that make the decision what will be here on earth. So those that is really innocence, God will take care of you. So you don't have to be worried. Uh, I, I need to let the spirit talk. Because uh, he touched me the whole time now. So, let's see if, 
if he oh he is very strong now uh, if it's um, he explain those two words in arabic that i heard uh, or what uh, if we get to know what will happen with this situation we have here on earth um, he, uh, he's showing up showing up but it's a different style of of man that I have not had before he have he have gray hair very much thick hair and very much uh, thick bard uh, uh, in his face uh, at least under the cheek uh, he is very powerful and uh, now he's saying, you have made the decision. He's screaming. Uh, of course, no one hear it. Uh, it's for me to hear it. You have made the decision and he is not pleased with it. But he say that it's, it's on us here on earth what we wanted this earth to be and uh, it have been sometimes we are talking about it to to make the heaven to come down or make this earth be going back to the darkness and uh, it have nothing with uh, God to do. It have nothing with afterlife to do. It's the people here on earth that make the decision what will be in the future. I start to be uh, very sleepy because the weather are changing now outside from or be uh, cloudy and now it start to be dark clouds coming I think it will be very much rain no like though like heaven is crying over the decision that have been made because it's it's working to be to could do peace in the whole world in the uh, in this earthly life we have it's it's working to do peace but those men that are sitting in the political system and those with the financial system though they don't see it like that because they have fighted they have fighted for many years maybe from from the start when they were born to to be up in the top top there is a mental sickness to uh, wanting to to sit in the top no matter w what they are doing on their way up to the top it's not only Hitler and Stalin that did this it's going on today also and uh, and they don't care if they kill their mothers step over their 
their children uh, is doesn't matter because they want to be in the top. And how can we talk to them about love when they are so interested to reach the top no matter what will happen on the way up to the top. And uh, he's saying this, uh, the Arabic word, uh, it was not uh, the one that was telling me in Arabic, he uh, he was not angry, it was calm and uh, it was okay <clears throat> when he talk to me so it was not evil things he was saying uh, this spirit is telling me what he was saying and he said be still he said that be still and uh, and that uh, means uh, I I ask this spirit to explain it, and he say that to not choose side. Don't do that. You don't need to do that if you walk, walk the in the plan God have for you. You have he have already given you a plan, so why should you take another? away in that plan and go away from God's plan for your life and running with these negative people. He is saying this, we have learned you, we have teach you what to do the whole time and now we sit again this about to store up and now it start to be this again that it's good to you to store up if it's it's be a, um, a critical a point where you live that uh, you need to store up water uh, the water uh, an ordinary water that you take from the tap, it can last for some weeks. You have to to read it, uh, how long you can store the water and do that and uh, change the water uh, after a time if that is not needed to be used and uh, and store up food and uh, if it cut off electricity that you have warm clothes to wear a warm bed to lay in and those things to be prepared because now is it what they were telling us? They were telling us for a long time ago that it should be a peak of evil things, things, very bad things going on in, in the world. And it is because now they are telling us on television that we should have vaccine for COVID is here again. And uh, I am thinking about those people that uh, doesn't have somewhere to, to live, that they sleep in the streets. And I mean uh, not... Uh, ordinary homeless I mean uh, those people in f war that have 
have nowhere to go to sleep. Uh, the children, of course, they sleep with their their mother and and be uh, protected of the uh, in that way. Uh, but uh, some children have lost their parents, or they have uh, don't find them again. And. Uh, There's so much going on in me now. They have a spirit. It's the whole heaven I have here in my home that is on me now. It's a. They may. They say again. It's a decision you have made. Because it was many times you could have changed the whole thing. But you uh, you have never accepted a woman to be, be a prophet from God. You have not listened at her. And, and uh, you are waiting for a man to tell you. And... Uh, you can wait forever because he's never coming. And uh, it's very close that I will go away because I have tried for 20, 23 years to make since. Uh, God come and talk to me in year 2000. He have talked to me before that, but the most serious was in year 2000 when he make me take the flight to United States and be homeless there and learn how to have lost everything and then built up my life again from scratch with no one that have helped me no one have helped me the whole time here uh, and so those in afterlife and and god they have seen it that you have not done anything to help me it in uh, some few times I have got some money, and but money is not the the answer. Money is not the answer. The answer they have said that the key word, the answer, the key word, is that you accept me. And and especially is it very important that you accept me as a prophet, that I hear from God, I hear from afterlife. And you should listen at me and, and action to, to do something about what I, what I hear from heaven. But you have not done that. And uh, for me, it doesn't matter what religion you are in. Because it's what is important is to accept me. And uh, for me, it doesn't matter if you continue to pray to God in your way to prayer. Is it? It is those books that I can't accept because God is talking to me today, and He's not. He have maybe talk to people in the books before, but now is it fresh today? God is talking. 
and uh, you have not accept me and you know that that uh, in the bible it says that if you don't know me i will not know you when you not pay attention and do understand what's going on you you will be it will be a closed door for you in heaven you will come in into heaven but you will not stay in those most important places in heaven you can maybe because you have been a nice person in your ordinary life to whatever come your way of people then you can maybe be in the meadow but you will never remember anything from uh, your earthly life because you going to be like a child uh, in heaven and uh, only playing and not thinking about serious things that's what it is i i start to be very sleepy you now so that uh, i maybe got some words more from from heaven when i lay in my bed but then i i recording one more time than today and um, I uh, I say to after life and I say to you that you should will not run run away in fear you you know that I have told you that that uh, God doesn't like suicide then you you will have very hard to to be in heaven but in some cases they can understand uh, why you did the uh, suicide but n- not in uh, fear if you make a suicide of fear then it's is wrong because they have told you to not have fear so they have told you many times do do not fear instead focus on god focus on uh, your home and don't open door your door to everyone that is coming be careful who you let in into your home this is a spirit way to talk it means to not let people come close to you you must have your integrity <laughs> you must have your own life uh, be clean so don't let the evil forces take a place of good forces so that's uh, we have to prepare for for the third world war if not a miracle happen that changed the whole thing and i I waiting for the spaceship to come down. I feel like they should come down when I see this light in the sky because now it's uh, all cameras is directed to to this heavenly things that coming down over Gaza with the light go and it looked like um, 
like a spaceship. And I'm thinking when I see that, it's soon time for them to come down now. Because all the camera is up in the sky and, and look in the sky. Uh, we'll see next time. I uh, I think it's a spirit want to talk to you. <gasps> oh, he he went out. If you heard it, he went out from me. That's what I waiting for. So uh, I thank you for talking to me this morning at five o'clock about this third world war and my people my people that follow me in in my podcast they don't have any fear they will prepare they, they don't are going to fear they are going to prepare So thank you for listening. God bless you.